Jesus Christ, really? Don't forget to become a member of Unrelent Gaming's Patreon for exclusive manga content and early access. Isn't that right, Seth? I already joined his Patreon today. Tons of great stuff on there, actually. But did you really have to blow up the city? Mm, yes. You blew up the domino. You blew up the domino and you're laughing. Do you realize the f***ing crisis here? And you will be next. Unless you subscribe, like the video, and turn on notifications right now. Or else what? You'll aggressively scream another man's name for several hours? Kakarot! Kakarot! Now, although I already knew that Gohan was going to be a formidable challenger to stand across the mighty and fearsome god of destruction known as Lord Tigron, but even as it stands at the moment, I'm afraid that if Gohan doesn't give it everything that he has to secure his victory over Lord Tigron, then I'm afraid Lord Tigron is going to tear Gohan apart out there before he even has a chance to do anything about it. continues following the initial battle involving Ultimate Beast Gohan having to go head to head against Universe 19's God of Destruction Tigron, as with the fearsome God of Destruction now looking to unveil the nature of his true destructive powers was when Goku then went on to observe by then responding, can you believe this or what? And to think that all of this was kept hidden deep within him, then there wouldn't have been no doubt that we had to fuse in order for us to stand a chance out there against him. But now I'm worried about Gohan's chances out there, especially if this destruction Destroyer is willing to go all out like this, with Vegeta responding, Well, with our fusion aside, even though the odds don't appear to be within Gohan's favor out there against this Destroyer at the moment, the only other way that we'll know for sure on exactly where Gohan stands out there against him is for us to simply go and wait and see if Gohan can hold his own out there against him during their battle while both being at maximum power. And so in the meantime, let's just hold out on having to go and make a move out there if it calls for it and see what comes out of this battle instead once it's all said and done, as we are now left with no other option but to go and trust Gohan's ability out there to go and do this, as Gohan then went on to quickly respond, yes, there we go, so this was what you were actually hiding this entire time now, were you? Well, I can't say that I'm not surprised, because I knew that you were hiding a lot more than you were shown having to put out here against us, however, Gohan continues, it's a good thing that I had went and trained with Lord Beerus when I did, because if I hadn't went and experienced what I experienced against him, then I surely wouldn't have been nearly as ready for you than how I am right now, and so let's just see as to what you're actually made of then, since this right here is what you're truly all about, to which it was only upon after being shown powering up as Tigron stood his ground, it was only just as Tigron was now shown having to be at his full power and having to stare Gohan down, was when Tigron then went on to quickly respond, you should consider yourself very fortunate because this is where we will see on how good you truly are as I want you to go and behold Saiyan for what you are feeling right now this weight that you sense that is pressing down upon you is none other than the full extent of my god of destruction power which was brought forth in its most natural and destructive state and as this is what true destruction feels like for every god of destruction wields immense destructive power, but only a very few are truly strong enough to bring 100% of that power out and survive under the strain of such force on the surface. For what you are seeing now is what makes me different and what sets me apart from the other destroyers such as your own. For this, Saiyan, this is destruction in its most purest form, Tigron continues, as there were only ever a few gods who have ever 
dare to unleash the full force of its nature like this, and with even a fewer who were able to fully control it, without having to crumble under the tremendous weight of its overwhelming power, but Gohan, I, well I have in fact went as far as to master this power, for I don't just happen to simply wield it as a weapon, but instead, I embody it, and so now I will show you what it means to face such power as we continue our battle and so do not hesitate, Saiyan. And so now honor my demonstration by coming at me with all that you have because I will test your might along with your resolve in order to see if you truly have what it takes to not only endure one of the strongest gods of destruction among the current governing, but I'd also want to see firsthand on just how powerful and just how reliable this ultimate beast level of yours truly is, especially when its back is up against the wall for its survival. As by no means did Gohan waste any time, because it was only just as Gohan was then shown having to dash directly towards Tigran was when Vegeta went on to then chime back in. Oh, tell us something, Whis, while Kakarot and I, along with Bully, had been busy dealing with some of the other gods of destruction, what exactly was it that made Lord Beerus want to go and choose Gohan as being his training partner, Vegeta questions? And more importantly is what was Lord Beerus able to bring out of Gohan that has allowed for him to grow this confidence and this powerful in battle, even against other gods of destruction such as the one that he is facing now, with Whis responding, Well, I can honestly see on why you'd be curious upon having to see this sudden and unexpected change come from Gohan while the three of you had been away, but what you must understand is perhaps Lord Beerus had seen something within Gohan that both you and even Goku may have overlooked once before, and because of this, what Lord Beerus did being the destroyer that he is, of course, was Lord Beerus had gone as far as to recognize this potential along with seeing his flaws and immediately helped him fix them. Which through this, what he did was not only simply a matter of helping Gohan train, but he sought out to eliminate these barriers within Gohan's mind and to destroy these self-imposing limits which allowed for Gohan to finally come into his own without the fear of holding himself back. Which furthermore, Gohan had grown so powerful and so sharp throughout this time that he even went as far as to nearly best Lord Beerus during their final battle while training, which I will say that if Lord Beerus didn't go all out against Gohan towards the very end, well, we'll simply put that I'm afraid the winner of that exhibition bout between them would have simply been called in Gohan's favor rather than in Lord Beerus's. But even now, in this moment, while he engages against such a foe as Lord Tigran Whis continues, what I will say is what you see now that is coming from Gohan, this fury, this unbridled power was always there deep within him, but Lord Lord Beerus knew that in order for Gohan to unlock this, he had to first go and eliminate the fears that shackled Gohan's true potential, and once those fears were gone, Gohan's true power had emerged, raw and within his complete and full control, but that's only a part of the story of course, so do keep that in mind, with Goku responding, Wait Vegeta, did you just hear that right alongside with me? Whis, did, did you just say that Gohan nearly bested Lord Beerus in a fight? You mean while wielding this ultimate beast power against him, and Lord Beerus won? But it was only just within that very moment during the middle of the conversation as Tigra went on to bite down on Gohan's shoulder before having to press him down onto the ground was when Vegeta went on to then chime back in. Oh, well enough about that since we'll go and get into all the details later, but look! For it would only appear that Lord Tigra is using the same kind of tactics to leverage himself over Gohan as Lord Grizzlord did against Broly when he tried to bite down and tearing into his arm, and so I don't like this one bit, with Goku responding, oh darn it, you're right, oh and so what do you think we should go and do if Gohan doesn't manage to go and get that destroyer off of him in time, with Whis chiming back in, now just relax you two, for you ought to be more like Broly here, and just pay close enough attention to give Gohan a chance here, because even though the situation may seem a little dire for him out there, Whis continues, and I do in fact have a feeling that he will be just fine out there if my assessment here ought to be true, to which moreover back on the battlefield as Gohan was doing everything within his ability to try and punch his way in knocking Tigron off of him was when Gohan then went on to respond, oh damn it, get off of me, you animal, for I won't 
let you go and take control of our battle. Whereas no matter what it takes, even if you go and try to sink your teeth into my flesh to try and stop me, go on continues. And I won't allow you to go and try to get the better of me while attempting to go and use your sheer size and mass against me to do it, God of Destruction. No chance, you hear me? But then, it was only as soon as Tigron was shown getting on all fours before having to be shown unleashing a new attack was when Tigron then went on to respond. Oh, I hear you saying, but you've already lost long before you even went on to realize it. Flames of Destruction! Wait a second, did that destroyer can combine the essence of destruction with fire, Vegeta questions? Is he actually trying to go and burn Gohan alive out there, or what? Oh, damn it, he's fast, and so Gohan better not go and take his eyes off of that destroyer. And especially if he knows what's best for him out there in this battle. And so he just has to continue to go and focus and keep his eye on him at all times. To which it was only unfortunately enough for Gohan as Gohan went as far as to take his eyes off Tigron for even a moment was when Tigron was then shown getting behind Gohan with Gohan responding. Oh shoot, he's a lot faster than how I originally thought that he would be because he was fast enough to see me coming and so I've got to hurry and act fast before it's too late. Thought you had me there for a second now, did you? Tigron went on to then question. Well, I don't think so, so guess again, Saiyan. Now kneel before our battle while you're still allowed and able to move your body, mortal. Flames of destruction! Oh, Gohan better not let up out there, Vegeta went on to then chime back in, because he must go and try to find a way to power through the intensity of that destroyer's flames if he hopes to walk away from this fight in one piece. And so come on, Gohan! With Goku responding, well, I have no doubt that he's going to, but those flames must be so intense because you can see him driving Gohan further back down onto the ground, and to even think that he could have went and even tried to go and use that technique on us if we went on to continue this fight against him. And so because of that, I can only just hope that Gohan can do it, with Vegeta responding. Wait, hold on a second. Look, Gohan's actually trying to push that destroyer's fire back by using the sheer force of his aura upon powering up to try and do it. Yes, yes, good. Now come on, son. Goku went on to then shout. You can do this. We know that you have the power to emerge victorious against that destroyer, and so you've got to keep pushing, Gohan. But it would only unfortunately seem as though Tigron had other plans, because with Tigron then shown having to dash directly down towards Gohan's direction was when Tigron then went on to quickly shout. Oh no, you don't say it, for you're strong, but you aren't going to be strong enough to win. Come on, come on, steady now. Gohan went on to then place his fingers on his forehead by then responding. Yes, that's right, God of Destruction, right this way. For I've got to try to make this quick or else he'll try to find a way to counter it for I've almost got him right where I need him to be. And so I'll need for him to go and try to make a move on me first so that way I can go and pull this off in succession. To which it was only then within that very moment as Tigron went on to unleash his claw of destruction and assuming that he had got Gohan exactly where he wanted him was when Tigron then went on to shout, Right there! Gotcha! Say and wait! He's gone! But where did he still think I'm not going to be strong enough to win? God of Destruction, Gohan responds, with Tigron having to turn around by responding, Oh, I should have known that he was baiting for me to get closer and closer, for the notion of him waiting for me to attack was a trap. Yeah, that's right, and you went and fell right for it, Destroyer Special Beam Cannon! To which it was only then within that very moment, fortunately enough for Gohan, as his special beam cannon went on to make contact and creating a massive explosion being seen from a distance was when Beerus then went on to chime back in. You know, I must say, this destroyer is quite the warrior, especially when considering on how he's trying extremely hard to not Hakai the boy while in battle out there against him, but his power is without question among the very highest from what I am able to see come from him. But it was as I had said from the 
very beginning, for the Saiyan is no stranger to combat or danger either, Lord Ligor, as Ligor then went on to respond, yes, nor is he afraid of undertaking such a challenge either, which pretty much goes on to rule out any doubts of his fighting spirit that both myself and Lord Tigron may have had when first having to gauge the mortal, and while I do think that it's better to allow for them to continue their battle until one of them decides to falter against the other first, Ligor continues, there is no doubt in my mind that this mortal warrior, along with the other known as Broly, are going to be perfect allies against the Shadow Gods, along with the potential of a tournament to be held, which was just as I had suspected, as Beerus went on to then immediately chime back in. Now hold on there for just a moment, and what exactly do you mean by the coming of a potential tournament? What tournament? What are you referring to, and what Shadow Gods? For I have never heard of such beings that have ever been spoken about by any of the other destroyers before. And so what exactly are these so-called shadow gods that you speak of, Beerus questions? For what exactly do you really know that the rest of us don't, Destroyer? As Ligor then went on to respond, Worry not, God of Destruction, for I will inform you all once the battles that are being waged have fully come to an end here, and when that happens, I will only then go as far as to fill you all in on what it was that myself and Lord Tigron had been told about by our angels before entering into Universe 18 when we did. And so until then, we will wait until this is over. As Vegeta then went on to oversee the battle by responding, I can't believe what I'm seeing, but look, Gohan, he, he's actually doing it. He's pushing that destroyer back more and more, for it's almost unbelievable. As Goku then went on to respond, I see it too, and his method with the way he seems to be going against that destroyer is unlike the way Gohan would ever go about in a battle like this before, for he only appears to be far more focused and far more aggressive with the way he's handling things down there, which only goes to show that I think Whis and Lord Beerus may have been right with what they saw in him. And if anything, this should be more of a wake-up call to us both, Goku continues, especially after seeing what Boldy was also capable of in achieving out there against that destroyer. And so because of this, we ought to go and take our training far more seriously than how we were shown doing before Vegeta, because even though I always knew that Gohan had the power within him, Goku continues, I never would have ever have expected to see him go all out like this, and especially not against another far stronger god of destruction to which we couldn't even go as far as to handle both together, and so it's very telling. Well, whatever it was that he went and did is something that we must go and adapt and apply, Vegeta responds, for we must go as far as to adapt these principles just as hard as Gohan and Broly were shown having to also do, because to go as far as to see them both stand on their very own feet against such powerful adversaries is nothing short of remarkable. Yeah, and to see Gohan push back like this is not only a moment where I'm extremely proud of seeing how far he's come Goku then went on to chime back in, but it's also most definitely worth having to go over once this is all done so that way we don't go and fall behind, and while I think it's clear now more than ever that Gohan isn't going to go down as easily as that destroyer thinks, Goku continues, I wonder on how exactly they plan to end this, especially now that they have stalemated, and because of this, Goku continues upon having to see Ultimate Beast Gohan and Tigron being shown breaking away, and I sure do hope that Gohan can go and pull it off in time, unless something sudden and drastic were to occur that will cost him. Morals, you know very rarely will you ever find me this surprised, Tigron went on to then respond upon having to be shown addressing Gohan, and especially since you are the very first mortal warrior to ever come this far against me at full power like this and live to talk about it, but to see you stand where you are and go toe-to-toe -to -toe with me and not buckle under the pressure only means that your destroyer did well by training you the way he did. For your strength, fighting spirit, and endurance are more than qualifying for an alliance with you and your universe, but make no mistake here, Saiyan. I have yet to waver throughout this battle, for I have responded to your power by using my own, and while this battle has been a very very exhilarating experience. We are now at a stalemate, Saiyan, and since neither one of us are willing to back down against the other, what do you say we close this duel with one final attack that settles it? With Gohan responding, Now I'd be lying if I said that you weren't just as tough as I imagined you being, and especially since I haven't had a battle
battle that had pushed me this far since after having to train with Lord Beerus, but if you are willing to truly lay it all on the line and have it all come down to one final attack from the both of us here, then far be it from me to keep you waiting any longer than Gohan continues. And while I know that you aren't my toughest opponent, you are certainly one of the closest next to Lord Beerus, but since I also went as far as to make the promise and have this end on the terms and conditions that I had laid down, then if one final attack is how you want to go and settle this, then let's go and give it our all and end this, Gohan continues. And just so you know, though it was an honor to have faced you, Gohan, that went on to charge up for a massive Kamehameha, I can guarantee you that from this moment forward, since you can finally now recognize as to what it is that I bring to the table in order to favor my universe, just know that this right here is going to be no exception, Lord Tigron. And so now let's find out on which one of us is going to buckle first. Kame! Yes, though your alliance towards our cause may have been recognized in potentially helping us prevent the dangers of what waits ahead of us, while I swore my oath to Lord Ligor that I wasn't going to destroy you, Tigron continues, understand that it'll be close enough once I burn you into an oblivion. And so now go ahead and come at me and hit me with everything you've got, Saiyan. To which it was only then seconds later within that moment that was exactly what both Tigron and Gohan were then shown having to do as Goku then went on to quickly chime back in. Oh, this is it. And while we wait to see who walks away from this, it's better if we go and prepare ourselves now just in case we need to have to go and fuse against him and battle against Lord Tigron for a second time as we went on to then immediately chime back in. Well, now I wouldn't go and be too hasty to go and fuse just yet if I were you. And especially not until we find out as to what is to ultimately come from this. However, while I will go and say that if it were not for Gohan's training with Lord Beerus earlier, then I think it would be safe to say that Lord Tyron would have inevitably mauled him out there, which is also why I ultimately urge you both to just hold off from interfering for just a moment, as I do ultimately believe that we'll be getting our answers sooner than we actually think, as it was only right then and there now during that moment where the Beyond Dragon Ball Super story of the resurrected fallen gods of destruction, the legendary god saga, manga chapter number 4, special then comes to a close. Well, actually, I'll go ahead and take it from here as I do want to go as far as to address something very important with our dear viewers at the moment. As before I go and give you the following information, if you aren't already a member of Unreal's Patreon community, then you are truly missing out on so much without you even knowing. Because not only is the next episode already on the page, but if you want to support all of the manga content that you see and gain access to tons of exclusives along the way that range from a variety of different things, then we do encourage for you all to become members of our Patreon community today, for we will link everything down within the description box below and pinned comment section as well. Now I will go as far as to say that although Gohan has shown tremendous resiliency against Lord Tigron, despite with the two of them shown leaving it all out there on the battlefield, I would only hope that if Gohan were to want to emerge victorious over Lord Tigron, then he is going to have to give it everything he has if he hopes to overpower the fearsome destroyer by the end of this, which only means that this is going to be a make or break moment for both of them coming up, and so you do not want to miss out on what is about to happen coming up next. So we hope that you all enjoyed today's video as before you leave, do make sure to give this video a thumbs up by smashing that like button on your way out, as well as subscribing to Unreal Inc. Gaming's channel in case you are new around here. We thank you all for watching, and hope you all have a wonderful day everyone, as we'll see you all in the next one. Hello. Did you know that you can stay up to date with the latest Dragon Ball content by simply subscribing to Unrelent Gaming? Also, don't forget to follow on these social media platforms, you sexy son of a bitch. Roshi. Silent Cell. Me and the fans are having a moment. That's right. I know what you want. Extra long, thick Dragon Ball content. Quality reviews with flawless editing. Yeah. Yeah, you'd like that, wouldn't you? You dirty bitch. Roshi, the fuck? God damn it, I need them to subscribe, Cell. And we're demonetized. Yeah, screw it. Let's cut to the video.